Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome for the first time. Today, I'm going to make wasabi radish powder. And guess what? This radish was grown from my yard. This wasabi radish was grown from my own yard. Now I have washed and cleaned my radish and cut it up prior to placing it on my dehydrator. As you can see, I'm doing right now. Now in the past, I have dehydrated some peppers. If you'd like to go back and look at that video, go right ahead, be my guest. But in the meantime, I'm gonna place this wasabi radish on my dehydrator to get the party started because I'm gonna be making me some wasabi radish dip. Now this dip can be used for your fried chicken, your french fries, or any type of finger food. You see, I covered the first layer and this is how it looks, okay? This is how it's done. Now I'm gonna do the second layer, place it on my rack, and let's fast forward this video because this can be a lot of work and time consuming. Oh, and by the way, you can go check out my wasabi radish harvest. In that video, I give you some tips and some pointers and some of the mistakes about growing wasabi radish, okay? Now I completed laying down all the wasabi radish on each layer. Now it's time to start the dehydration process. As you can see, all through there, I have all the wasabi radish that I had cut up all through and through, okay? And it's dehydrating right as we speak, as I speak. Now there's a better look. Let's look once again at the wasabi radish before it's all dehydrated, okay? Look how beautiful that look. All cut up nice, fine, and clean. Okay, make sure you spread out all your vegetables, your whatever you put on your dehydrator, make sure you spread it out real nice and thin. Now this is the process here. Now this is what I'm looking for. Look at there. This is dehydrated. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay? Look at there. Look. Look. Oh my God, look how perfect dehydrated it is. Still has its color and everything. This is a closer look. To be on the safe side, I think I'm gonna dehydrate it a little bit longer. Make sure it has a nice crunch to it, that crunch, crunch that I'm looking for. Now this should be the finale. I think I have that crunch that I expected from my wasabi radish, okay? Look at there, it's even more dehydrated. Wow, look, that crunch, that's what I want. I want that crunch, okay? So you have to make sure that your product is always dehydrated thoroughly because if you don't, it can cause mold. You have to make sure it's processed and dehydrated properly, okay? See, that crunch, you see? Look, look like potato chips. That's what I'm looking for. Now I have all my wasabi radish dehydrated in my bowl. Perfect. Look just like a potato chip. You see? Thin on both sides. Thin on both sides. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay? That's just how it's supposed to look. Dehydrated and thin just like a potato chip. Yeah. And I'm going to have it crunch one more time. Hear that crunch. Now it's time for me to blend it in my blender. It's all packed in and I'm ready to go. You see? Now, this blender I got from Timo. I don't know the name of it, but it works. It works. Okay, let's start this process off and fasten this real quick. Okay, let's fasten this video up a little bit. Now that's how you make wasabi radish powder. My powder is already in my jar. Okay, look at there, looking great. Now I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm gonna show you a close up. That looks good, right? 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Look inside, you see? It moves around very nice and it's dry and dehydrated. Just like I want it. All right? Look how good they look. Look at their nice powder. Look inside there. Well, that concludes my video. This is how you make wasabi radish powder. Try it at home. It's nothing like producing your own vegetables and producing your own products that you can use because you know what's in it. Whoa! Welcome to my God. Welcome to my God. Welcome to my God. Welcome to my God. Welcome to my God.